In the next 10 seconds, I'm about to show you exactly how I set up Go High Level for my SMMA clients. So what we're going to be covering today is new lead responses, booked meetings, no-show reminders, and long-term follow-up. Let's get right into it. So I'm just going to create a new sub-account as if I had one of my regular local agency clients. So for this one, I'm going to pull out my HVAC snapshot, and then I'll take you through each automation so you guys know how to do it. For now, we're not going to use a real company, so I'll just put in test dummy. Okay, so once we got all that stuff out of the way, now we're gonna get right into the next part, which is talking about creating pipelines. That way we can manage the leads that are coming in for the account. So first things first, let's click on settings. Let's go to pipelines. I already have a pipeline, so I'm just gonna break it down. So new leads, leads that responded to text, booking requested slash interested, meaning they came from the form. They scheduled an appointment by themselves. Now my client needs to confirm that booking and then any of them that need to reschedule or if they no-show, if they're already talking discussion stage, services sold or deal lost. And these are pretty much like the basic pipeline stages that you should have for any of your clients, especially if you're just doing basic lead gen. You're gonna need all of these, especially for the automations we're gonna to cover today. So let's save that and let's get into the first automation. So the first automation is gonna be for a new lead. So typically, we're gonna have a new lead that comes in from a Facebook form, especially if you're brand new. If you don't have any data, it's probably not the best idea to start running ads to a landing page. So what I do when I first start is I will set up their ads in their ads manager to only convert on a Facebook lead form. And then from that lead form, they can go into my scheduling funnel where they can schedule their own estimate or their own booked appointment. That way I'm still collecting some kind of data on a pixel and I'm still getting leads in at the same time. So first thing I'm gonna do is click on automation and then I'm gonna click on the new lead campaign right here. So the first lead that comes in, you can see what they text them. Hey, is this Dan? This is Orlando. I was reaching out because you were interested in getting our HVAC services from our ad online. I thought texting would be easy. Do you have time to talk today or tomorrow? So typically this does have a good response rate and I'll show you real results. And then two minutes after that, we'll send them an email. Typically people never respond on email, but we're still gonna send the email just in case. So you can see pretty much what the copy looks like there. And if they don't reply within two hours, we text them again. Hey, just checking in, I know you're probably busy. You wanted to know what's going on with your AC or heater when you have a minute, thanks. Um, but still, look at the first three minutes. We text them right away, we email them two minutes after, and then if they don't reply within three minutes, we attempt to call them. So what this is gonna do is call the lead and if they answer, it's gonna ring your client so that they can get a live transfer directly speaking to them on the phone so they can find out what they need or if they need to schedule an estimate, they can do that. That's within the first three minutes. Two hours later, we text them again. One day later, one day later, one day later. And that's pretty much it just for the new leads that come in. So I'll show you what a day after looks like. Hey, don't forget our offer is still waiting for you. Please let us know if you have any questions. We look forward to speaking with you. And then here's the text that goes out. Hey, we noticed you haven't booked a free consultation. We'd love to know if there's any questions that, be, that can be answered for you. Location name. And then we're also testing voicemail. So just like leaving a voicemail, you guys can drop a voicemail here. Maybe something like, hey, this is Dan from client company name. Just wanted to know if you had a couple minutes later this week to talk about what's going on with your AC and then save. And that's really it. The next thing we got to cover is once the call is scheduled. Once we booked out a meeting, we're going to have to remind them constantly to get them to show up. That way you and your clients are both making money together. So let's go over that. Okay, so here's what the appointment reminders look like. I have a text message campaign for it because typically 80% of all text messages are open. So we're gonna really rely on that to make sure we're getting good results for them. So hey, first name, your appointment is set for time and date, has been confirmed. Please let us know if you have any questions. In the meantime, we look forward to seeing you. And then you can see uh, two days before, we'll send them a an email and a text, you can see what that looks like. Hey, just a reminder, please reply yes, confirming you received this reminder. And pretty much the same thing for the email. Hey, just a reminder, we have the same reminders following up to the call. So two days before, four hours before. And the reason why I do this is because typically my clients still need to call them to confirm their estimate or their booked appointments. So our clients are still gonna be calling and texting them before that time. You can also add in automations for 24 hours before, two hours before, you know, 10 minutes before. I highly recommend doing that, especially if you're working with, you know, clients that are not that good at follow-up or refuse to follow up or would rather have you guys handle that. 
just to make everybody's lives easier. The way I handle it for my HVAC contractors, typically this is the best way to do it, but it's different for every niche. It's different for every client that you're working with, to be honest. And then now for the last one, we're gonna talk about leads that don't reply, book to meetings that don't reply. How do we get them to reactivate? How do we get them to finally convert? So the first thing that happens is you get a new lead or a new meeting, they don't reply or they don't show for the meeting. The next thing we're gonna do is spam them with automations, okay? Ethically, not to the point where we're annoying them, but we do need to have you know, some follow-up in there to remind them about what they need to be doing. So let's talk about that. Here is my automation for no-shows. We gotta make them feel like it's normal or there's absolutely no problem for them missing the appointment. So the first thing that we say in the email, sorry you couldn't make it. Hey, we're so sorry we weren't able to make your appointment. Let's get you rescheduled ASAP. Shoot us a reply. There we go. And then for the text, again, this is the one that's going to get open the most. Hey, we're sorry you weren't able to make the free consult. Any questions we can answer or was it just a scheduling conflict? Location name. So typically this is going to be the business name just to get them to reply. So you can see what that looks like. And then a day later, don't miss out. And then you can see the message there. Why don't I follow up any more than that? Because for me, I have virtual assistants that use a soundboard. So you can watch my other video of how I set up the soundboard. Typically, I can hire a virtual assistant for $3 an hour that doesn't necessarily have the best tone or the best accent. What I do is I'll get these virtual assistants to follow up with my client's leads and my own leads using a soundboard. So they will get on a call with a lead and they will literally press buttons that sounds just like me because they're pre-recorded messages. Hey, we saw you did the schedule or we saw you weren't able to make it or welcome in. You know, we saw you just filled out a form. When can we get on a call? They're literally pressing buttons on a soundboard that sounds just like me to get them to reschedule. And again, if you want to see that video, I'll put it right here on the screen or I'll link it in the description. Either way, check it out if you guys want to see more on that. Now, the last thing I want to show you is a real client account so you can see what these results are looking like. So for lead in, you can see so far, we've had 19 total leads go through this because we barely started running ads on August 2nd. We've had a 63% reply rate. Okay, that is very high. More than half of the leads are replying, so we know that they're either interested or they're not interested. That way we're not wasting time. And even look at the appointment reminders. 57% of the leads are confirming, yes, I will be available. So I'll show you Wayne. I think Wayne was one of the leads that uh, we had good results with. So Wayne, as you can see, he actually scheduled through uh, the calendar. But this was the initial conversation that we had with Wayne. Hey, is this Wayne? This is Orlando. I was reaching out because you were interested in getting our HVAC services. I thought texting would be easy. Do you have time to talk there tomorrow? He says yes. And then we replied today at 8 a.m. works for you to talk. But he didn't reply, so we called him. No reply. So then, hey, Wayne, did you end up getting help with your AC? No reply there. But as you can see, Wayne actually scheduled through the funnel, which means he opened his email possibly he clicked the link to schedule an appointment, but he put in the wrong phone number because it was unsuccessful. At least I think it was the wrong phone number. Yeah, failed. So typically that just means it's the wrong phone number that he did or that he put in, but the emails went through, which is how he actually scheduled the estimate to begin with. And I'm gonna show you this Wayne guy, the conversation that I had with Oscar, he was super excited. So this was the conversation that I had with him the day after he did the estimate. So we were talking back and forth on the day that he scheduled. And then look at this. Hey, I did the installation yesterday. Call me when you have time. And this is a, this is an invoice for an $8,900 system of which he profited $3,000 and I make a $300 commission on that. So any profit that he makes, I take 10% of that profit. So you can see right here, here's the payment link. He paid the $300 payment commission to me and there you go. So I'm incentivized to make my clients as much money as possible because I take a commission of that. Okay, I've worked with e-com stores, I've worked with local businesses. I usually do rev share because everybody makes more money together that way. So I'll usually have like a three to $6,000 setup fee, depending on the niche, depending on the client, and then I will do a rev share after that. So that is pretty much how I've set up the entire thing. Last thing I wanna show you is the funnel. So this is what it looks like once they finally come in. So typically, again, they'll go to, you know, the Facebook lead form, and then from there, there's a booking page. But if I've already had a lot of data, then I'll start allowing them to go through my own funnel rather than a Facebook lead form and then straight to the calendar. So this is what this looks like. 
Arizona Climate Control, right? A little bit of information about their company, a form, a phone number, which is a high level phone number that forwards to my client's phone number. The reason why I do that is because if somebody goes to this page and they call my client, then they're going to be able to record that conversation. So I know they did talk to them and then, you know, we can go from there based on what happened in the conversation. So just a little bit of information about the client calls to action. And then once they finally schedule that or fill out the form, they can go and schedule an estimate right here. So from the lead form to here, or if I already have data from that first page to here, and then they can go and schedule that estimate where then my client can go and confirm that estimate and everybody can make money together. So that's pretty much what the funnel looks like. With that being said, guys, if you want to see how to set this up for yourself right now, click in the description. I'll give you guys a free snapshot included below. High Level has a lot of free ones already. I kind of modeled my HVAC one based on theirs. So yeah, do with that what you will. If you want to tweak what I've already done, feel free to do that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell because it's free and it really helps me. Other than that, check the description. There's a bunch of freebies in there for you guys, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys.